All right, so today we're going to be going over how to import custom uh, icons and voices for your Garmin Nuvi GPS system. Now I have the Garmin uh, Nuvi 2555 model and when I connect it, this is what will pop up. So when it pops up and also I run this program by them, Garmin Express, which lets you click and it lets you check for the latest drivers for your Garmin. And the first thing you want to do is uh, I import it. I put in a 32 gig memory card because um, the maps are, there's a lot more map updates. So you need memory. It only has a built in four gig. So it updated my maps and under the internal you can click on Garmin and right here you'll have an XML document so you can right click and you can click edit and it'll open it up in WordPad and uh, what you want to look for is your model ID which for me it's right here so you're gonna control C copy that and then you're gonna go file new and then can so the program that you open next is called the key gen so you're going to control v and then you're going to choose garmin mobile pc down here you're going to choose custom map set for the homer simpson one it's 480 i will enable this and change this to 25 press ok and then i will press the second generate will give me this code which I can highlight control C copy it and then I can run it in this other program where it will validate if it is um, an unlock key that's um, that's correct so once you do that then you'll open up that blank word pad control V and you will file and you will save it save as I'll save it to the desktop you want to save it to the same thing as uh, as your other file so so if your file is called Homer then so you have to save it as a dot UNL file you'll click Save but when I save it right now press yes as you can see it saves it as a dot text and uh, to see extensions what you want to do is go to control panel press on appearance you can change it right here so if yours doesn't look like this if it looks like this change it to categories appearance personalization file explorer options and go under view and if you see this option right here, it'll be checked for you. Just uncheck it. It says hide extensions to known file types. Uh, uh, by default, this is checked just because you don't most, you know, this is an executable file. So they don't want to put that, but you uncheck that. And then you can click on this. And as you can see, it highlights only the name, but not the extension. So then you can change that to dot whatever we needed it so we need it to be dot unl so let's say i wanted to change this i can go ahead and change it dot unl it'll say do you want to make sure press ok and now it changes it to that file type so if i edit it with notepad plus plus which is a great program as you can see it is my specific code for my uh, model id so you want to make sure that this name and the name of the of the Homer Simpson so I can close this out so this is the VPN that's the voice prompt for Homer Simpson so this is called Homer Simpson dot VPM this has to be called Homer Simpson dot UNL but since I call this Homer dot UNL I can rename this and call this Homer dot VPM and then what you want to do is copy both of those folders so you're going to go back you're going to go under voice you're going to copy both 
the UNL and the VPM files into this directory under voice. Once you do that, then you're going to go under vehicle and you will copy Homer's vehicle. So homercar.srf. Those are files in, in uh, .srf extension. I already have that. Once you copy those, you're all set. You're able to disconnect the Garmin and, um, and you're able to use it I'll show you, I'll go through the settings right now and change it to those so you know how to uh, start using Homer's vehicle and his voice. So what I will do is just include this folder, the UNL file, so you can right click and use Notepad++, edit it, so you can erase this and paste the, the generated uh, code for yourself and then just press save that way you don't need to go through control panel to show extensions you can just do this and not uh, bump into any problems so then you'll have two files and they're both already called Homer Simpson and so and then it says Homer's car this doesn't matter because it's going into a different folder but because these two are going in the same folder you need to have them have the same name so now when you turn on your navigation system to go and choose those settings, you'll press setting. So first I'll go and change the vehicle icon to the one I uploaded, Homer Simpsons. It's the pink car. Save that. Go back. Oh. Now now on to actual Homer's voice. Choose Homer, save, and that's it. So let's go somewhere. Go get a burrito. Time to hit the road. You can also go on this website right here, garminheaven.com forward slash vehicles forward slash and download any one of these. I've gone ahead and downloaded the Batmobile and the Tron Light, the little bikes from Tron Legacy. So internal storage under vehicle, I will cut and paste these in here. Now we're going to go over to the GPS to see if it worked. So now I'm going to go in here and choose my vehicle. And as you can see, that's the little Tron bike and the Batmobile is right there.